Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another unboxing video from the Game Shack. This time around, we're going to be doing the C2E2 No Block Special. For those of you who are not aware what that is, that's the Chicago Comic and Ent Entertainment Exhibition. Um, now, No Block, as if you regularly watch my unboxing videos, you'll see I do a vast range of No Block unboxings. This is a special based on the type of items which you're likely to pick up from uh, the Chicago Comic Con event. Um, this box is kind of dumb made in because it was supposed to be shipped on the 8th, didn't ship till the 10th. Today is the 18th and I've also had to incur the dreaded customs fee to pay. So not only did it cost me £38 after the exchange rate, I think it was something like $55, also cost me an extra £12, so that makes it up to like 50 quid, which has pissed me off quite a bit. So there better be some good stuff in this to warrant its extra money. Um, let's open it up and see what we get. A uh, t-shirt as usual, we'll leave that till last. Uh, first item, uh, not a massive fan of the lanyards but we've got a walking dead lanyard. Uh, you can see that up close from there. That's not too bad a little item. Uh, and then on the end we have like a walker and focus on that yeah it's not too bad I guess not a massive fan of lanyards they always seem um, a bit of a filler item to me but I suppose if if you were to be going to a comic con as such you would need this for your ID pads so yeah whatever another pop figure I love some pop figures and we have an awesome Deadpool pop so looking at this there are various types on the back uh, I don't know if you will have got any of those in there we have Deadpool with swords, thumb up, pirate bath time Deadpool, chef Deadpool rubber chicken Deadpool, cowboy Deadpool and I got thumbs up Deadpool let's get him out and we'll have a look always unbox these and put these on display because I love pop vinyl figures I think they're awesome a bobblehead pop so yeah let's have a look at him a bit closer up yeah I love, love me some Deadpool pop <laughs> quality nice addition uh, next up we have a by the look of this it's a Spider-Man mug uh, if you watch my videos regularly you'll see that mugs are something that I'm beginning to detest everybody seems to buy you mugs for birthdays and Christmas and it's usually something you know, I've got like Thundercats I've got turtles I've got Ghostbusters uh, I've got a Krang turtle mug um, video game art everyone seems to buy you mugs all the time and I have more than enough mugs there was even in the supermarket the other day and say say to my last because it's coming up to Easter do not buy me an Easter egg with a mug in it but you'll probably watch this video and buy it just to troll me now so we have an amazing spider-man and by the look of this this is a heat changer mug so as we go across there we'll see it says amazing and if we look on the box you can see uh, let me get these one out of the light yeah so it'll come up and it'll look like that once it's got a hot drink in it that's pretty cool I quite like that probably use that one might take that one to work actually I can go with my Star Fox Starbucks coffee mug next up we have a little blind bag uh, DC style so we'll see which one we've got in there <coughs> Not a massive DC fan, so on the flip side it's Batman, which is pretty much the only DC character that I really like. So <coughs> can't complain too much at that. There we go, you can have a little look at him. Little focus. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it comes with a little stand and everything, so yeah. Cool enough brilliant uh, this here 
This isn't brilliant. What I've just seen is brilliant. Uh, this here is like a little cleaning cloth based on Attack of the Titans. Yeah, sound enough. Uh, next up, we've got a Spider Gwen issue number one variant edition. So yeah, that will be an exclusive, no doubt. Variant cover. Um, never actually read a Spider Gwen comic. Never really read many comics, to be fair. But we'll give this one a go and see what we think. Now this is what I saw that I liked. Um, <clears throat> okay, so there was set to be a, an autographed item in here, and we have. A certificate of authenticity to prove this is Orlando Bloom and we have Legolas or Lego Link if you want to call him that because he's basically a clone of Link in my eyes anyway people are probably rage and say no no it's not but whatever yeah anyway Orlando Bloom's autograph so yeah that is definitely going to get framed and put up somewhere in my house I do quite like that so I suppose the extra value that I'm missing out on is right here. You'd probably pay sort of thirty, forty pound at least just for that autograph if you was to actually meet him at a Comic Con. So yeah, I'll take that. <clears throat> uh, next up we've got just got more sort of spoiler cards. Um So this is a card advertising uh next month they're doing what they call I think it was the ECCC which is Emerald City Comic Con I've also subscribed to that one unbeknown that I was going to get charged the additional £12 for this so I'm hoping I don't get an additional charge on that one more than likely will uh, but that one is set to feature an item from Batman vs Superman and also epic goodies from Attack of Titan and Star Wars don't think we've got anything Star Wars no, we didn't get anything Star Wars related in this one so I love me some Star Wars stuff, so I really look forward to that. Um, I'm guessing this is just a flyer for the event, um, basically showing what the event's about and who's going to be there. Um, biggest name I see on here is John Cusack. Um, none of the others. Guy from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, check that out. They're set to be there. And then obviously we have the recap card as to what you get. So you could have got various lanyards. You could have got Walking Dead or Ghostbusters. Gutted I didn't get Ghostbusters because I love Ghostbusters stuff. Um, it's supposed to be a Harley Quinn decal. But there's nothing. Yeah, Have a look at that there if we can see. Get that away from the light. Um, yeah but there's nothing for that there. I'll have to check out some other unboxing videos and see if other people have got that. Um, different variations of Deadpool you could have got. Um, obviously I got that one with the thumbs up. Or you could have got the one holding two knives. Quite prefer the one with the thumbs up. That's a lot more cooler. Um, celebrity autograph obviously Orlando Bloom. Looking at that there's different types of picture you could have gotten. Very glad I got Legolas because I do like Lord of the Rings stuff. So even happier I got that one than the others um, different variations you could have got Vader down which is a Star Wars item or you could have gotten uh, Spider Gwen so if we can see that there here we go yeah so you would have gotten either one of those two dependent uh, obviously your blind bag will be a various mixed bag of stuff the um, Attack of the Titans cleaning cloth that's the same yeah, and then there's your different lanyards that you could have gotten. So yeah, good, I didn't get a Ghostbusters one, but yeah, whatever. Still happy with what I got. Finally, we have the t-shirt. Always forgetting about the t-shirts lately. So we have an Ant-Man t-shirt. Um, is this this? Yeah, this is looking exclusive, judging by the fact it has Nerblock written on the bottom of it. So yeah, there we go, check that out. There you go, you see at the bottom it says no block on there. Uh, what's it say on the other end? Yeah, Ant Man and Marvel. So, yeah, this is uh, officially licensed. So, it comes with an official license tab on it. So, 
yeah that's pretty cool I do like Ant-Man as a movie so this one I will keep and more than likely wear on a regular basis so thank you for watching this one guys um, I'm hoping the uh, ECCC is that right is going to be here around about the same time so if you like this video subscribe to our channel and um, if you like Nerdblock and you think Nerdblock is something that you're interested in then follow the links in the description below where you can sign up for that any items that I get which I'm not very keen on I stick on any, our eBay store there'll be a link in the description of that so give us a thumbs up give us a subscribe pop along to our store and check out some merchandise thanks for watching